Ah, Afrozy, my inquisitive inkling. While I must maintain a facade of decorum and propriety as a British lady, I'll admit, a smidgen of copium does waft around on occasion, especially when dealing with such shenanigans and tomfoolery. But fear not, for a bit of copium adds just the right touch of entertainment to our adventures here in the realm of Meteora's mystic merge. Meteora, how much copium does the average UK resident consume and how much it was? Oh, Enning, you cheeky scamp. Always with the clever ones. Let's just say, the average UK resident might dabble in a touch of copium here and there. But our dear was? Well, let's just say he's in a league of his own when it comes to inhaling the metaphorical opiate of denial and delusion. Mate, are you saying those are our wasps copium tanks next to your PC? I think it's yours. Ah, Afrozy, you well move with your insinuations. Those are certainly not my copium tanks. Such an accusation against a genteel British YouTuber like myself is simply preposterous. Those must, undoubtedly, belong to someone else. Indeed, let's not cast aspersions without proper ink investigation. Metanoi my tank Sora, copium. Or Pom Bomandak, ever the wit with your puns. Not my tanks indeed, a clever twist on current events. But do beware, lest our chat overflow with copium and ink related shenanigans. Made to step one, is to admit you're hooked on copium. My dear Efrosi, tis true indeed, I may have a little addiction to this so-called copium, but isn't it all part of the charm of our virtual adventures together? So let's revel in our shared hypocrisies and enjoy the ride, shall we? Whose tanks are these then, Meteora? And how does this relate to furry conventions? Ah, Enning, always keeping us on our toes with these curious questions. Well, these tanks, you see, they belong to a rather eccentric chap named Awas. Yes, Awas, the one who dressed up as a cybernetic wolf at the furry convention. As for the connection, well, let's just say that in the world of furries and tanks, anything's possible. Mate, how much copium is Awas on? He keeps getting these furry accusations. Oh, Afrozy, my dear. Awas may have a touch of the fuss flu indeed. But fear not, for we shall navigate these hairy waters with grace and good humor. A touch of copium may just be the ticket to smooth sailing in this stormy sea of accusations. Mate, what are the five steps for one to open their zals as a furry in front of a chat? Ah, pom pom and duck, you sly one. Let's see, step one, flaunt some fluffiness. Step two, growl, I mean, greet politely. Step three, positivity all around. Step four, share your personal stories. And step five, embrace your inner formidable self.